I am super excited to talk about this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring this up just because I feel like we have been on a mega kick lately. Um, but the 911 spacecraft crash in Las Vegas, Nevada, just recently. It's been crazy. I know that. It is so insane. Saying not okay, we've heard stories about crashes, we've heard them a ton of times yeah. going back from Roswell and uh, all the way up till now. It's almost like a weekly occurrence, literally. Okay, well, if, if you're living under a rock, okay, over the last two years, the government has been coming out saying that you know there are UFOs, they never use the word alien, but they have. Confirmed, there are UFOs out there. They are flying objects out there, you know, that they have no idea what they are. They are unidentified, which is crazy. That's like saying, hey, aliens are real without saying aliens are real. And um, what's funny is we just had a whistleblower. So almost about a year ago, just David over. Grush. Yep, just over a year ago, the DOD came out and said, you know, yes, UFOs are real. They're out there. They're out there. We have no idea what they are. Then David Grush came out just recently where I don't care what anybody says. He got the approval to come out as a whistleblower to talk about this. Maybe there are people in the government that don't agree with him, but there are a lot of people in the government that do agree with him and want to back him up. And in he coming didn't out share anything classified. Nothing classified. He actually went through the proper channels to make with sure that he could get it approved to go talk and everything. So this is like a planned um, release or whatever, it's in obvious. my opinion. It's yep. obvious to me too. Well, that was like a couple weeks ago. I, I don't, it, it's a couple weeks ago. And just recently, this took off online. So this is in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, this all starts from a 911 call from a team. All right. So, so follow me on this one. A teenager? A, a teenager. A teenager. Okay. But there are way more people involved than just teenagers. So uh, April 30th, 2023 at 11.50 p.m. We see a spacecraft i okay we see a ball of light a ball of glowing light a blue that looks like the blue of this sign flying to earth i will flying to earth all right and you can see it clear as day in the body cam footage it's wild and um and and there's no comments about it on the body cam footage like maybe they just assumed it was a comment i don't know all right well, uh, 15 minutes after that, right around midnight time, um, this teenager calls 911. And uh, he is telling the 911 operator that, hey, um, there is something that crashed in our backyard. It, uh, there are two like humanoid beings that we can see. They have like arms and legs and they look really big. They're between uh, 8 feet and 12 feet tall. Their eyes are huge and they're shiny. Their mouth is really big and unnatural looking. And he just kept telling this 911 operator like I – basically what he was saying is I know how crazy this sounds. I get it. I don't want to use the word alien, but that's what I feel like they are. And he even says, look, I, I swear to God, I promise you this is going on. And he was like, it, it, and he was super hesitant to say the word alien. And he finally comes out and says, you know, I, I, I don't know if they're alien. They remind me of aliens, but they're, they're huge. They're unnatural and they're scary and we are all scared of them. And the, the father is in the background confirming this, literally saying the same things, okay? So go back to the, to the kid. The kid is outside working on a car with his cousin. All right, so we saw the, the crash from the body cam footage. Mm -hmm. the, this crash happens literally in their backyard. So going back to the crash, let's – 
okay, whatever it was that fell from the sky. Um, it falls into the sky, into their backyard, literally into their backyard. It's a dandelion chip from a muamua. I, I was going to bring that up at the end. I'm going to give my opinion at the end here. Um, but uh, it, it, it falls in their backyard, and they show a ring camera recording here, and the audio on this is insane, something I've never heard before. It is like, boom. There's a ring camera video. You can hear the bang. This is around the neighborhood. So here's the video. I see is a big light falling from the sky. Huge, 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 huge crash. And so this teenager is telling the story here, and he came. He finally came to social media, which we'll get to that in a little bit here. But um, he's telling the story, and he said that it hit so hard that it had a shock wave. He felt it in his whole body. The ground shook, his oh house gosh. shook, everything That'd be shook. so scary. Yes, and he was literally in the backyard, okay? Well, so obviously, what are you gonna do? Look at what it is. He goes to look at where the crash was. Now, this is crazy, and I haven't heard this highlighted, before but what he says is when he's looking at the crash you know within the probably the first 10 15 seconds it's all blurry and he goes on to say out my eyes weren't blurry where the the where the crash was blurry okay this makes me think some kind of like warp speed okay because how does a trip how does a ship Maybe it could be interdimensional if we're going full tin hat here. I'm just giving all kinds of possibilities or it could have traveled intergalactic, right? So the best way that that could probably happen is some kind of barrier, whether it's anti-gravity barrier, whether it is some kind of bend the light around you so that you can travel seamlessly through space and time. Mm -hmm. um, these are all the things I'm thinking when I hear that, because remember, nothing else is blurred. Just that area is blurred. Well, he said he, he blinks his eyes a couple times, whatever, and it turns off. Then he can see again, okay? And he just says that the blurriness went away. Now, to play devil's advocate, could this have been stress? Absolutely. I'm not ruling that out. Could it I am, be heat? Um, heat I don't, can create blurriness. Yeah, it could. I think it could be heat. Um, just where it was very selective. The only thing why the only thing why heat doesn't make sense to me is because like their house wasn't burnt, the vehicles in the area weren't burnt, anything like that. It doesn't that. mean the object um, wasn't hot though. Yeah, but it, he said all the all around it. So, um, but I, I'll cover devil's advocate side here too, where he could be super stressed. Anxiety does yeah. really gnarly, yeah. crazy things. The only thing that makes me doubt that it's not all stress and he he needs to go see a therapist is that we have body cam footage we have ring door footage we have multiple footages not only that all night long that night there were calls from utah state there were calls from nevada there were calls from california there were they were seen all over the place in order for that to happen it had to come from above. The only other possibility is it's like a comet or something like so that. So everybody saw it coming down from the sky. Everybody saw it that was outside. Yep, yep, in those states. So. And it wasn't multiple. It was just one. It wasn't multiple. It was uh, just, just one. Just that one. Yep, it was just one. So, so what did it look like? They they don't give that, okay? So um, once it clears, he his vision opens up, whatever, and then he's looking, he's looking, and he realizes, like, oh, my God, that what are those? You know, he sees beings out there, um, and he gets super scared right away. He, he talks – so this part, I think, is most likely – uh, fight or flight because he says he can't move when he realizes there are things out there moving he's okay frozen. it is dark it is in the middle of the night he's like frozen and he once he realizes that like their eyes are huge their mouth is unnaturally huge and they're like massive way bigger than a person okay it shows them behind like a tractor and their head is up at the seat where you climb like way up into and, wait like, there's images of them they, online yeah uh, questionable um, so, 
but if they were real, that height is insane. He freaks out, okay? He goes in to get his dad, and his dad and the rest of his family come, or his dad comes out first, just his dad, and his dad walks over to where he was. He shows him, and his dad is like, oh my gosh, get inside, you know, parent with kids yeah you protect your kids you tell them get inside yeah. there's something sketch going on here um so he goes inside he lets the whole family know all the people that are there it's the the father there's two cousins it's him and it's the mom and they all go outside at this point uh two of them have guns with them uh he the the teenager is recording on his phone okay and in this timeline he hasn't called 911 yet i just want to be clear i started with the 911 call cuz that's what all the buzz is about online so i'm just kind of backstepping here so they go outside he's recording right and they're speaking in spanish and i think that's really important to highlight here because they are a traditionally spanish speaking household where the youngest kid speaks the good English. Otherwise, they speak Spanish there, you know? Yeah. Um, not uncommon in Las Vegas or Southern California area, whatever. Um, and um, there's a picture of them talking, and it is the gate to the backyard where the ship is. The father's at the gate. There is a gun-toting uh, cousin behind him and another gun-toting cousin behind him, the mom, and then the youngest teen, the one that is involved in all this, the one that speaks English really good. And the dad is like, okay, okay, we'll go, we'll go look again. We'll go see. You know, he probably wants to verify what he saw was real. I, he opens the gate, and they go out. It's pretty brave. All, all four of them start to walk forward and I might even put the video up here for them like little clips of it if I can and they get to where they can see he validates and verifies that what he saw was legit he turns and books it like right back all of them are like Ooh, you know <laughs> what I mean you know when you have a group of people and the person in front shows a reaction everyone yeah. reacts and flips out okay that's <laughs> exactly yeah Run. that is totally what happened there so um but in this image that you can see the kid trying to get it. And the image I'm talking about with the being is you can see an outline, a really, really rough outline. It is black on black here. And you see eyes that look like they're blinking. You don't see the outline of the eye, but you see an eye that almost is like absorbing the light around it. It's really weird. So I'll put pictures up so you guys can follow along with it here and everything. Kylo. Um, so this time is where, and the dad comes in and locks the gate and is like, screw that. We are all going inside. Nobody is going back out there. Okay. So they go inside. Um, he calls 911 and as they're walking inside, lets the police know what's going on. They're, they're told to stay inside. They stay inside and they're so scared, dude, that as a family, they pray together for an hour. Oh my god. Waiting on the cops that they're gonna be okay and that Wait, everyone's I gonna be okay. The officers caught body cam footage of it. No, so off an officer caught body cam footage of it, okay, to make it a verifiable story that yes, this happened. An officer, an official officer, body cam footage shows it. Uh different from this specific situation. Um but uh so they're in the house praying while they're praying during this hour because the cops don't show up for over an hour. Uh, they hear footsteps on the roof. Oh, my gosh. Footsteps no. on the roof. No. They get super scared and keep praying. The cops show up, and um, 
they uh, the that footsteps on the scary. roof could be anything. It could be let's assume it's a craft. It could be a craft taking off. You don't really know. They're inside. They aren't seeing anything. Okay. Yeah, but footsteps I feel like are a pretty distinct. Well, the sound. aircraft up leaves. Okay, so between in that hour, I mean, it's not a distinct sound that you don't know what kind of technology that craft has and what kinds of sounds it can make what kind of sounds it makes taking off we have no idea it could totally be that but cops get there okay cops go in the back they search everything they don't see nothing the family doesn't go back out in the backyard they are super scared they're talking to the cops chopping it up it seems like normal conversation the cop tells them like you know I wasn't even going to come here. I was literally going to send, like, the de-escalation group that, like, can 5150 people or when somebody's having, like, a psychosis breakdown or a drug-induced psychotic break or whatever. He was like, but I had one of my fellow cop buddies reach out to me and confirm that something fell from the sky. So I decided to come over here. And jokingly, he tells them, like, look, if you see them out here again... Do, don't call us. You know, you guys got weapons. There's nothing we can do. So, um, I what? mean, he, he's jo- he says it jokingly, okay? But in reality, it's kind of true. What What's a cop going to do? Arrest an alien? There's nothing a cop can do. Yeah, but you still have to call the cops. No, you're in Arizona. Open carry. What is a cop going to do? I don't know. I would still call the cops. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What is a cop going to do? What are you going to do? Shoot him? If somebody has to shoot it, like, why do you need a cop there? No. A cop is there to enforce American laws. Yeah, but to, if, say, they attack, like, you want help, I wouldn't want to be there by myself. I, I guess, and you trust a cop to, like, cover you? Fighting an alien? I, yeah, I don't know. No. No, I don't blame the cop for that. I bet the cop's taking heat for saying that, but like that's so logical. I would, I, I honestly expect somebody to say something like that. At least it makes sense to me. You know, cops are there for a very specific reason. They're there to police American laws and to keep U.S. citizens safe in their city that they're designated at. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't include aliens. That does not include something that is outside of the, like they can even arrest somebody from another country. Okay. That. Yeah, but they could shoot it if it's attacking people. So could they. They had shotguns with them, you know. Um, But so they go back. They're super scared, but go back to their normal lives and... Wait, was there any... Did he see any evidence of what had fallen? There's some evidence out there that there are circles in their ground But there was no meteor. There was no meteor. There was nothing there. There's no ship. Nothing to be found. There's no nothing. And there is confirmation that it landed in his backyard. This isn't... That's not even the crazy part, though. Hold on. So, um, they go inside and they try to live their normal life. The... The kid decides to start talking about this online, okay? And uh, this is when, and you got to remember the date. This is back in April 30th, okay? We're now June 17th. So um, the kid starts talking about it, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me take a step back. So the very next day, okay? Uh, on May 2nd, because remember, this happened between April 30th and May 1st. Um, and then May 2nd, two officers show up from the Las Vegas PD, the same police department from the officer the night before. Okay. And they ask them a whole bunch of questions about the situation, ask them what they remember, what they know, this, that, and the other, um, and, uh, and end up leaving. Later, they get confirmation that no officers from the police department ever came back out. Wait, it was supposed to be the same officers? Nope, not same officers. It was two sergeants. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Two sergeants from that police department came back out the next day wearing Las Vegas PD uniforms. Claiming that the police, the Las Vegas PD sent them back out there to ask additional follow-up questions. They were never sent out there by that police department, okay? So 
essentially, if you're not understanding what's going on here, it's a who, gover- it's... whoever came out, it wasn't. A, it was people fraudulently acting like they were part of that police department. They oh, are not police. Okay. They are not from that police department and asking them a whole bunch of questions. That's why I said it's very important. Like you pay attention that they're wearing the pol- they're coming as those police. No police ever went back out there. So um, this kid now. Hmm. Starts talking about this online, okay? And this really uh, experienced detective that looks into, like, unexplainable UFO stuff. He has, like, 40 years experience. Doug Papa talks with the family. And the family hesitantly didn't want to talk to him at first. They, like, pushed back. They didn't want to, whatever. And he builds trust with them. And he starts talking to them. So from the time from – so he met with them on the 19th, okay? There were cameras up in their backyard that the family didn't know about. Cameras up in their backyard. And I'll post the pictures here that they didn't know about. Okay. Wait, when? Before? Before or? this went viral, okay. the police department put up cameras on a, on a light pole and on the house in their backyard before this was viral, before anyone knew about this, anything like that. By the time Doug came back, which is on the 24th, so they were up at least for five days, the cameras were gone. Doug tries suggesting that the cameras were taken down because he specifically started covering and talking about this situation. They reached out to that sheriff's department and got confirmation that the Department of Homeland Security installed these on May 19th. The technical and surveillance squad that was issued by... Let me see here. It is the assistant sheriff... Is it Shara or Sherry... Sasha Larkin, under the direct order of Assistant Sheriff of the area, Sasha Larkin, was pulled down once this started getting attention, okay? (laughs) The son now, the the youngest teen who called in now starts talking about this, and this goes viral after the whistleblower claim. What is the point of the cameras? What to watch the area to see if the aliens return to see if anything's left there to see if this family's trustworthy <coughs> to verify stories to I mean dude what do you mean what's the reason there's so many reasons the cameras could be up yeah but what is really interesting is the 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 government and police force know that there is some reason so take your pick those cameras feel like a verification that they need more if 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 they believe that this family was full of it and ufos weren't a thing why would you put up cameras doesn't yeah, make sense it doesn't make sense so um Anyways, um, it just seems dumb for aliens to like return to that spot. You know what I mean? Like they just crashed there. Why would they come back to that specific spot? We don't know anything. The the potentials are endless. Yeah. It could totally be. I guess we have no idea. Why do aliens crash? That's one of the biggest questions I have. You know, they are so much more advanced. Like, how do they crash? How do you make a mistake on our um, gravity and crash? Like, I don't get that stuff. But anyways, um, so once once the youngest starts going viral, the teen that called 911, they set up a whole bunch of interviews, okay? After they've talked with Doug Papa, he starts talking about it on his podcast. He starts posting videos talking about the situation that the youngest teen does. And a whole bunch of media reaches out to him. They set up interviews and everything. After they set these interviews up, they start noticing that there are black SUVs 
parked outside their house following them and always in that general area. Of and they got confirmation that these guys are literally wearing black suits with black ties. Like literally they're the suggesting without saying the name men in black. You know what I mean? And uh, here's the crazy part. During that week, they missed all their appointments. They didn't call the cancel. They just didn't show up for their interview appointments. People started getting worried and reaching out. And somebody posted a statement saying, I'm sorry, but the family is just uh, looking to take a step back from this because of all the attention. They don't want to be contacted or anything. And the family's gone. They aren't even living at the house anymore. Nobody knows where they are? Nobody knows where they are. Nobody oh, knows no. where they are. I can't find anything on where they are. Nothing. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. So, let's play flip, flip of the coin here, okay? It totally could have been a comet, right? It totally could have been a comet. The cameras totally could have been put up because... They were just worried that something could go viral and people could try looking for the materials that come in a comet. So I don't know if you guys or you know this, but like the raw materials that are on a comet are, are worth so much money, Super valuable. Dude. Super va- Like insanely valuable. One rock is like could be millions depending on what is all on that comet, okay? Um, so that could have totally been the reason, um, why they tried to avoid the camera stuff, maybe because they didn't want to be a part of the Doug Papa situation. Uh, maybe they didn't do the interviews after already scheduling them because they started catching hate online. I mean, I feel like these are stretches. I feel like this is me trying to like piece together justifications when, um, when you look at the history of the government, the whistleblower and everything else, like, that seems likely that it could be a crashed UFO. Uh, I just need to know more information because I, I also get questions of like, they're so advanced. Like, how could they make a mistake and crash? That's the biggest thing I get here. Okay. So you can travel light years away in your ship, but as soon as you get to Earth, you miscalculate something and crash. It just doesn't seem realistic. All right. Unless they are. Um, interdimensional beings and going from dimension to dimension causes some kind of something that we don't completely understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I agree with you. I totally thought of Amuamua. And so if you guys haven't watched it, we have this here where we're talking about the spaceship that people in the government made comments about saying that it's this huge space spaceship slowly traveling through the galaxy and as it passes by planets it drops off baby spaceships to go like research the planets and then bring that information back up and Amuamua doesn't slow down like it's just like boop you know drops them off they research whatever and then comes back up could it be that i it could i have no idea I don't know anything in this. I know that this is a damn good story. I know that this is super interesting. I know that there's only so many times we can claim coincidence when we're hearing these things. Yes. I am anti-conspiracy theory, but when you look at aliens mathematically, it makes sense there's aliens out there. There's too much mathematical probability saying that, yes, there are thousands if not millions of planets in the the green zone for creating life there's going to be life on some of them yeah and it's wild to me that people say it's unlikely they'd be much more advanced than us how do you know that they could be like way older than our civilizations they we could have, have a young sun they could have not had several extinctions the way we did and yep. they were able to develop technology for a longer period of time like yep <clears throat> There's our so sun many... is young too. People need to know that. Like our green area is a young green area. Our sun is still young in its first half of of life. It's just there's so many possibilities and things that we. I just think it's stupid to act like we have it all figured out. Okay. Yeah. Science is evolving. It's never meant to be solid and set in stone. Like, yeah. I I hope this family 
because it's clear that the okay. pa- I, it's clear the parents came from Mexico. I hope this family got paid off by the government, and that's what's going they're on. And they're it like, up. "Yes, dude, we don't have to work. Like, I'm so glad this spaceship landed in our backyard. Like, we're gonna kill it the rest of our life. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I hope they're living <laughs> it up. I hope that they're okay. And if the government is listening, just you guys should just pay people off. Because if I had a spaceship land in my backyard and they were like, "Yo," We'll give you like 20 mil, okay? Just no interviews. Don't ever talk about this again and close all your social media. I'd be like, okay, pen, sign now. I don't care. Yeah, I think everyone would for the most part. Yeah, I'll absolutely not talk about it for that. Come on, you know? (laughs) Absolutely. I don't even have to think twice. Like, what, you want want me to cut off a finger? It's so funny because most people would be like, I have such integrity. Nobody could ever pay me off. And you're like, pay me off. Yeah. I don't care if people believe me. (laughs) It doesn't matter to me if people believe me, you know. (laughs) I'm easily bought with a million, so. (laughs) Great. Yeah. But I want to know what you guys think. I suggest you do research into this because this footage is crazy. Between, like, just straight look for the videos and, and come to your own conclusion. Look at the uh, the body cam of the police officer before the call. Listen to the 911 call. Uh, look at the, uh, the, the footage from the backyard. Um, and uh, look at... Doug Papa's footage too. So it's all super, super, super interesting. It is. And yeah. I I hope more comes out. Like I wanna know if they actually saw a spaceship and what it looked like. Like that's such important information. It's just absent. Yeah, I yeah. What? They saw the beings. It's dude. literally in your backyard and you're describing the beings but not the spaceship? Yeah. That's just weird to me. Yeah, they saw the beings and were like, yo, I'm not going any further. I feel like that's pretty common. Yeah, I just wonder, could they could they not see it because it was too dark? Imagine seeing 12-foot beings. Like, that's yeah. scary. But if there's a spaceship there, like, you would think it would have some lights or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's just scary stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, it's very scary for sure. But, yep, let me know what you think. I'm a skeptic, so I don't know. I don't know what direction I'm going on this. I said I was going to give my opinion, but um, I'm going to say, yes, it was aliens just because I, I want there to be aliens. So, I mean, I think it's very possible that it's for real with everything that's coming out. Like, yeah. I think there's a huge possibility that it's real, but, and, I mean, with the family disappearing like that, it makes me more suspicious that there's validity to it. I, I agree. I agree. Um, and the police the officers coming out. With the whistleblower out right now, maybe, like, the a disinformation, like, type attack on them um, would be too obvious. I don't know. Um, I mean, the government needs to reach out to me because I'll do it for you, you know? with that same check (laughs) (laughs) oh gosh but yeah let us know what you think obviously we're joking and playing and but i really want to know your take i thought you were gonna say but i really want that check (laughs) (laughs) no i only sell body parts for money careful now (laughs) (laughs) just kidding (laughs) 